Hey guys, we're Allie and Gary with Roll With Us DMs, professional game masters with over 17 years of experience that also love to go on some side quests with our friends, which you can see here on our channel. Thank you for checking out our videos. If you haven't already, you should quest down to the subscription button and strike the notification bell so you never miss our content. Our links are in the description below. Consider becoming a channel member to access epic perks, including playing in one of our games. Now, on with the video! <laughs> hey guys, today we're playing the 19th hole module, part of Mansions of Madness by Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu is a system where you want to roll under your stat using percentile dice. Percentile dice are 2d10. So this would be your tens place, and this would be your ones place. Another option is a d100. Although, this doesn't typically stay on a table, so you want to be careful with those. So let's say that your stat for firing a weapon is 50%, and you roll a 55. You can use five of your luck points to make sure that you hit. But what happens if you use all of your luck points? Let's say you're searching a house and you aren't finding any clues. Your keeper may ask for a luck roll to find something that you missed. Or maybe you forgot to pack an extra magazine of ammo. You may be allowed to roll your luck to find an extra magazine in your bag. Also, Call of Cthulhu is a different type of RPG, where maybe running and getting the police is the answer to getting out alive. Fighting isn't always the answer to the problem. Today we're playing the 19th hole. Our investigator group has been hired by a wife, Crystal McMillan, to find her husband, Arthur McMillan, who went missing and the police can't find any leads, and are assuming he left of his own volition with someone else. We pick up with the characters meeting at Crowwood Hall with the wife, Crystal McMillan, um, but first, let's meet our cast. Hi there, I'm Gary, one half of Roll With Us DMs and co-owner of Top Notch Ceramic Trees. The links are in the description. Today I'm playing Sean Davis, boxer extraordinaire. He's a brutish high school dropout who has been hired for this investigation for his brawn. Definitely not his brain. Hello, my name is David Lancaster, and I am playing Call of Cthulhu, the the 19th hole, with uh, Ali, Gary, and a few other individuals. And the game uh, is consisting of where we're helping a wife find her missing husband. Uh, Call of Cthulhu is a really good game for just... Get actually getting into it. My character is an ex-soldier from World War One. He served for the United States. His name is Michael James, and uh, I I really like the role playing, the the games that uh, is offered, and my charity that I am that is put up is for Hope Ministries, which is in South Bend, Indiana place that I worked for and it's for individuals that have had hard times in their lives whether from addictions mental illnesses just losing losing their homes and it's a place for growth uh, it's it's a good place so if you want to check that out I would appreciate it feel free to contact me through uh, Allie or Gary, and uh, I'm looking forward to this Sunday to play the 19th hole. Thank you, and have a good day. Hi, I'm Kai. I'll be playing Annabelle Anderson, an investigative journalist seeking the truth to the strange and mysterious, whether that truth is just an overlooked mundane answer or something more. Hello, my name is Bree. You can find me on patreon.com slash Get your roll on. Uh, I'm going to be playing Avery Batanalia today, uh, but she's a professional gambler, so everyone just calls her Ace. Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Uh, we are on session two of the 19th hole uh, with Call of Cthulhu. Uh, the players have just went and met with the wife of the missing 
Arthur McMillan and then went and talked to the police over in Dundee, uh, talked to the detectives that had come out to uh, look for him. And with a spot, a very good spot hidden check, they recognized that they searched all over the golf course, but nowhere else, really, including the clubhouse. And the one detective is convinced that there are ghosts in the clubhouse, so I think that's where they're heading now. It's late afternoon. Uh, they have access to a car, which they were very happy about. All right. Uh, so is that where we're heading? We're heading over to Thistledown? Absolutely. No. And hopefully yes. we'll be able to find uh, Cameron and uh, let him know that we're there to help. Uh, you guys pull into the golf club. Uh, you see all kinds of um, different types of vehicles moving dirt and large rocks around the area. Uh, a little over a mile south of Crowwood Hall. The road shows its years of neglect outside of the outside of the deep ruts created by the heavy trucks moving to and from the site. The road is overgrown with tall grass and shrubs. The quarter mile distance to the club gates is strewn with potholes. A short distance down the road, the Thistledown Clubhouse can be seen rising over nearby treetops. The clubhouse is recognizably modeled on a Scottish baronial mansion, complete with turrets on each corner. Uh, through the rusting gates, the clubhouse's restoration looks to be all but complete. The whitewashed walls of the two-story structure jump out against this green landscape, and the new windows shine brightly. Uh, would everyone please give me a spot-hidden check? The courtyard in front of the clubhouse is another matter. Through the gates, the investigators can see piles of lumber stacked to the left while a heap of broken plaster moldings, torn out fixtures, rusted kitchen appliances, and old plumbing lies to the right. Parked, uh, parked just outside the gates are a few, are a few uh, cars. Okay. I'm still thinking about dinner. Sorry. My stomach, I just I can't seem to focus. We just ate. It was, you know, it was a couple hours ago at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm just explaining away that, that failure. <laughs> All right. Um, Michael, with that hard success, um, you think you see a shadow move across one of the second floor windows? Um, okay, uh, as you guys are, uh, walking up, you see a gentleman, um, with a large set of keys, uh, closing a gate and looking like he is about to start, uh, locking the padlock. He turns so he around. Should... Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, we should head up to him. Immediately. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. Um, he turns around and he... Um, what can I help you folks with? Hello, my name is Ace. We are Ace in the Royal Flushes. I pass him a business card. Uh, we're investigating the the disappearance of Mr. Arthur McMillan. Uh, 
Yeah, um... Well, we were just, uh... I've already sent everyone home. Um... Yeah, uh, come on in. Thank you. Uh, this is the gentleman... Oh, yeah, this is the gentleman that is standing in front of you. Uh, he will bring you into the clubhouse. I, uh, well, I, I guess I was the last person to see him before he left. Um, Crystal told me to expect you guys. I don't really know what to tell you. He... He came in, he checked out the area here, he was displeased with how slow it was getting the new plumbing up and running, and then he started to walk the golf course like he always does, and I just assumed he left after that, but when I went to close up for the evening, I realized his car was still here. So I had the guys go check over the golf course looking for him, and once nobody could find him, we sent for the cops, and they came out, and they did a full search for, I guess it was a day and a half. They were dredging lakes and searching, and... They couldn't find anything. I... Speaking of the guys, do, do you have the employee records for that day? Uh, it, yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, he kind of shuffles through some paperwork sitting on a desk, and this is the entire crew. They were probably all here. Can we get the entire crew in here? I think we need to question them. Uh, most of them they went left home for the, the day. Uh, there might be a couple walking the walking the golf course, but you know, locking down machinery and whatnot. But all right. So look, look at this here. See, the police they're coming here tomorrow, and I think it would be very good if you could get the entire staff here tomorrow when the police are here and we're here and we can all sit down and we can figure this out. I mean, we've already talked to the police, uh... We'll be here if, if you want, you know, if you have any questions. They start work at, at 7 in the morning, so... We can help you with anything, you know... You know, Crystal's been nice enough to keep us on, but I, I just don't see that lasting for very much longer. No, me neither. I don't think you guys are going to make it unless we find him. Um, question. So you, did you, you actually saw him leave the clubhouse here? You saw him go into the golf course? I mean, I, I can't say I saw him leave. I, you know, I was hmm. probably upstairs, but that's just, that's his normal what he does. He comes here, he checks on things, and then he goes to go walk the golf course before uh, heading home for the day. And, uh, and what section of plumbing was uh, being worked on this day that he was so displeased about? And were you doing any wall crafting that day? No, I don't at walls yet. I think we were still working on the first floor. Oh. We were working on the first floor men's shower room. And we were getting those pipes up and running and testing that plumbing before moving on. Mm -hmm. She just looks to the rest of her team. And did you have them? Did you finish the plumbing? Is that is that done now? Yeah, plumbing's all done. Um, all the fixtures are are available for you. 
if uh, if you need to use any of the bathrooms or anything, everything's good to use. Uh, you know, the walls aren't fully in place yet, but we're getting there. I smell my armpits, and I'm like, yeah, I think I, I think I could take a shower. I think that sounds like a good idea. Um, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> I have a question for you. Okay. Did the uh, have you had uh, any unexpected visitors lately? Because the uh, detective seems to think it's haunted. Yeah, we, uh... Ghost stories, they, they get out of control around here lately. Uh, I don't know. I don't put any credence to it, but... We had some of the guys quit over... She, their tools moving on their own and uh, some ghosts they say coming and looking to them for help or something it's just it's just ghost stories it's creepy out here when there's no electrical and no lights and and anything like that where about were these men when they said there were ghosts coming? Oh, just working here in the clubhouse. But nothing, no problems out in the, uh, holes? Nah. We've had those guys on since the beginning. No problems out there. Uh, Do you know anything about the history of this place before it became a golf course? Before it became a golf course? Oh, I mean... That was almost... 20 years? That was over... About 20 years ago. Um, I think it was just farmland back then. Do we want to kind of mosey around and check Jill, things out? Um, any chance you can leave the keys with us as we search the clubhouse? You seem to be ready to head out. Uh, or are you going to stick around? No, I'm done for the day. If I'm late for dinner, my wife will be pissed. Uh, he hands over the keys, and he said, Yep, Crystal asked me to, to hand these off, but uh, I do need to get back in here at 7 a.m. tomorrow for the guys, so we can meet here at 7 tomorrow morning? Mm-hmm. All right. If, if you guys aren't here, I'll just send someone up to Crowwood to, to grab them. Sounds good. Ace, make sure Annabelle gets the golf club keys. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, guess we might as well start looking around. So when he leaves, I'm going to mention to uh, Sean's no longer with us. Uh, Sean has gone to the take a shower. Yeah, to go take a shower. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. Uh, mentioned to Annabelle and Ace that when we were coming in, I thought I saw a shadow on the second floor. When I was, I looked up and I saw something move. Well, second floor is definitely where we're headed. What with uh, that being where the one detective said they saw something. Uh, let's put people's tokens onto where they would like to start heading to. Alright, we're starting on the first floor. Take it this is the entrance. Uh, yep, entrance. Um, yep, there's an entrance there, and there's an entrance there. And... Yeah. Can you guys see? You guys can't see those. I feel like the 
tokens might need to be readjusted to the same size. Okay. Ah, thank you for the labels. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are looking at blueprints. You should absolutely be able to see labels. Um, this is just something that Roll20 does with all of their things. They don't want you to know anything. We're on the first floor and we're looking at the blueprints. I want to go into the golf shop and have a look. Cool. That's okay with you ladies. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. You mind seeing how long Sean's gonna take? Mm -hmm. If this place is haunted, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't be separated for too long. We're undressed. Oh, or that. Could you imagine him getting spooked and running out in nothing? Jeez, <laughs> Not an image I want to. <laughs> only thing worse than being chased by a ghost is being chased by a ghost while you're wet and completely naked. No, so the meatball would come rolling out. Oh. No, jeez. <laughs> While I'm in the golf shop, I'm gonna kind of look around, look at the clubs, and I'm gonna look for a four iron to grab. Okay. Just to walk with. Um, as you uh, walk through here, you see that there are brand new golf clubs. Uh, you think that they have received a shipment? And they aren't yet put away since they are still working on flooring and walls and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely grab a four iron. Down close. I want to, I want to inspect the piping in this room, make sure that, like everything works, that and that there's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Since this is the last room that they were working on. Uh, yep, go ahead and... I figure I'm, like, turning on all the faucets. I'm showering, too, but, like, turn them on, make sure they work, make sure the water drains right, make sure, you know, the walls, like, uh, nothing out of the ordinary with the tile on in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, everything seems to be working as should. Uh, it takes a couple minutes for the hot water to actually get through the pipes and get up to you, but other than that, yeah, it seems pretty good. Uh, Ace is going to check out the, the women's area. Okay. Look around. A couple of um, awkward ears up against a wall, see if you can hear. Um, and then, yeah, I guess she'll check the plumbing in the women's shower, too. Okay. Uh, yeah, the not shower- I'm not showering, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, the shower room seems to be completely finished. Uh, the changing area, it seems that the walls have just went up. But that, um, like, none of- there's no, like, chairs or benches or, uh, anything around the outside of the wall. Like, there's no lockers, there's no anything like that in there yet. Are the walls fully up, or is there any areas that haven't been done yet? Um, it looks like they're up, but they're not, like, taped or uh, plastered or anything like that yet. Are we able to tell how wide the walls are? Uh, looking... you can kind of see from opening a door um, that they are normal wall width, maybe... Eight inches, six inches. So not thick enough to hide a body inside. Uh, not from oh, what you can see. Must be a mm. very small man. If he got chopped into pieces, it could be small. I'm not gonna cross that off the list yet. <laughs> well, we started seeing bleeding walls. 
That's a good point. Any uh, any signs of any blood in the men's chamber room or the changing area? Uh, you see no blood in the men's changing area or a men's shower room. Are there toilets and sinks, I assume? Okay. I would flush those too and make sure that they work and make sure that the sink's working. Yeah. Uh, yep, all of that is working. Um, okay, hold on one second while you guys are in the Great Hall. Um, uh, nope, that's the entrance foyer. Sorry, hall. hall is painted in the same pale hunter's green as the entrance foyer, and its floor is similarly unfinished. A brass light fixture clings to the ceiling, its incandescent bulbs hidden with flower-like glass enclosures... Uh, flower-like flower glass enclosures... The brass switch is on the western wall. The hall is empty apart from four small tables and five high-backed chairs that have been pushed against the southern wall. Two narrow stained glass windows light the room in a kaleidoscopic colors. The scenes depicted on the stained glass are like those in the foyer. Go ahead and give me a uh, spot hidden. Nice. Fumble. Okay, Ace, uh, you recognize that there's some kind of irregularity with the windows. If the investigators have come during the day, which you have, uh, you notice that the stained glass windows in the southern wall and the two panes on the western wall, the flank of the front door, are black despite it being light outside. The reverse is true if the investigators have come at night. No, okay. Uh, um. Okay, so one of these windows over here is also um, weirdly black. Uh, which one? Can you ping it again? Okay, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ace is going to nudge Sean. Go up. Hey, Sean. Is, is it just me, or is that window black in the daytime? That is strange. Why do you, why, why do you think that might be? I don't know. Um... Uh, we should check it out, but you should check it out first. Mm -hmm. uh, walk over to it and look at it. Alright. Uh, as you look through, as you get close and you look through this pane of glass, uh, you see a kind of moor or plain is barely visible in the gloom, bereft of trees or grass. A split second later, a number of strangely iridescent shapes shoot past the window in the night sky. The things move too fast to be seen clearly, but their shape suggests unnaturally bent wings, long claws, and talons, uh, and clusters of tails. Or are they tentacles? Um, go ahead and roll a d3. Um, you lose two sanity. As you are looking through this window. I'm oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Back into the golf shop to grab a dozen golf balls because I forgot to. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you are able to grab golf balls from the golf shop. Um, actually, let me do a quick 
description of the golf shop. Um, the floor is bare, no light fixtures. Those provide light. Um, there are also three golf bags with clubs that lie stacked uh, beneath a desk. Um, you also hear a barely audible scratching coming from the northeast corner. I, I don't know, Ace. I, I don't know. This, uh, this, this window here uh, kind of Kind of freaky. I mean, I, I know I, I doubted the whole like ghost stories things, but like uh, I swear I like saw some stuff moving in there, and I, I don't, I just, I don't know anymore. Are you okay? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Just, something's not right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, come on away from the window then. Um. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like the ghost stories are. Uh, this place is definitely creepy. It's definitely creepy. Let's um, let's keep our heads on a swivel. Um, don't want to lose anybody. Okay. Uh, well, you've um, you have your one friend who has uh, moved back into the golf shop. Um, yes. Go ahead and give me a listen check, Michael. Nice. Um. The, the scratching keeps getting louder and louder and more incessant in this northeast corner. It almost sounds like something is like maybe a rat that's like incessantly scratching at something or a squirrel. Well, I'm glad I've grabbed that four iron. I'm going to pull it out and walk slowly towards it. The awesome. sound. Awesome. Uh, go ahead and uh, okay. Um, all of a sudden, it stops, leaving you in a little bit of a stunned silence. Uh, as you look into the corner, uh, you see a... There's nothing around, but you see a deeply gouged X roughly scraped into the oak floorboards. The X shape is not new. Enough dust and debris has settled into the grooves to suggest that it's decades old. I'm going to walk out into the hall and say, Hey, all of you, come check this out. You need to see this. All right. And it was in this corner, correct? Uh, northeast corner. So it would be oh, this one right here. here. Yep. All right. Where are we headed? Over here. I heard a scratching sound, and then I found this. It's an X on the floor. So they yeah. didn't put him in the walls. They put him in the floor. <clears throat> I should have saw that one coming. Looks pretty old. Aren't they? They were just doing renovations. Things shouldn't look old. At first I thought it was a rat. And then I, I walked up and there was nothing there. Um, Trying to examine the symbol, does it is it something that we could possibly recognize at all, or...? Um, no, it just looks like an X that has been gouged into the floor. I'm gonna try brushing off some of the dust and such from it. Okay. Uh, it looks like it has been uh, scratched into the floor doesn't necessarily look like it's been done with a tool. Huh. Are there any, like, seams around the X where maybe this part of the floor, like a trap door or something like that? Uh, you don't see a trap door. Um, you do see some tools in the area if you want to try to pry up a, a, a board. Uh, 
Gun, come be useful. We need your strength. Yeah, we might need to get under underneath here. Okay. Um, are you guys going to uh, pull up the floorboard? Yeah, that's what we're trying to get Sean to do. He has the strength. Okay. Um, with about five minutes of, of work, uh, you grab a hammer and and start prying it up. Um, you find nothing below this floorboard other than a few wood beams and the ceiling of the basement below. Is there any weird, like, smell coming from down there? Uh, give me a smell check? Smell function? What's that? Um, yeah, is there, is there a perception on your character sheet? Mm, I don't, no, no. I think that's usually spot hidden, but... Yeah, yeah I'm, that, I'm that's more spot hidden. Spy. No! Okay. Um, well, it makes sense because I feel like Michael is is in there with the with the hammer, uh, lifting stuff up. Um, uh, you, Michael, um, you know, there's this weird chemically smell. Like you think that like there's a, probably a furnace under there, like a coal furnace that's running. Um, heating the water and whatnot, but there's this weird chemically smell that doesn't make sense for a golf course. Um, as you okay. kind of stick your nose in this hole. All right. Uh, I'm going to ask everyone if they smell that. Say there's something that smells weird down in the basement. So do you guys think we should head to the basement before the second floor? I mean... We started here, we might as well. Yeah. I mean, we're... The second floor. I mean, we're, we're halfway to the basement now, already. We're also halfway we're to the right. second floor by that logic. No, I mean, like, we already ripped up the floor, so we're, like, halfway to the basement already. <laughs> We're not going through the floor. We're finding the stairs. I was taking the easy route. All right, that makes sense, I guess. Not the easy route. It's the logical route. That right, demo is fun. I know that the clients don't always appreciate it, but I do. Come on, you. Besides, you don't want to miss dinner at seven, do you? Alright, uh, stairs to the basement. Yeah, stairs it is. In the corner. I just don't know which set is the right set. Uh... Stair stairs it is. We don't have time to bust through this floor. I believe going from this side is going into the basement based on the blueprints of the other floors. Okay. Um, uh, okay. <clears throat> um, uh, because you guys were looking at the blueprints, uh, we don't need a spot hidden roll for the doors to the basement. Um, there is a simple door lying flush against the western wall near the French doors. This door is painted the same color of green as the walls and bears no handle, just a keyhole. It leads to the internal basement stairwell. Well, we have the keys. Uh, after fiddling with a few keys, the basement door finally clicks open. Well, gentlemen, if you'll do the honors. Okay. 
You said there was no electric here, correct? Uh, it, it has yet to be turned on. Yeah, moving down to the basement. Uh, a long row of floor-to-ceiling shelves runs along the northern exterior wall. The upper shelves are empty, but the bottom shelves are full of half or unused cans of paint, lacquer, and polish. A collection of paint trays and used brushes of varying widths and quality light just above the paint cans. Um, a, stair a stairwell down to the basement is bare wood and turns south at a landing halfway between the first floor and the basement. As the investigators reach this landing, the temperature drops dramatically. As in cold, cold? As in cold, cold. Uh. Ace pulls her gloves out of her purse and puts them on. <laughs> Start rubbing on my arms. Should have brought a jacket instead of just the overcoat. I'm, I'm starting to re rethink that shower. Maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. Uh, who is going down first? Not it. <laughs> I'll go. I, well, yeah, I was going to say, Sean's not with us, so... Okay, go ahead. I just didn't move my token, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, whoever is the first down the stairs, uh, will you please give me a dex roll? So, I, I don't Sean, know... Let me like, go the what, first down the yeah. stairs. <laughs> what it, yeah, it doesn't matter. I I just dropped my token here, so whatever the order is, it's fine. Uh, what time is it right now? Uh, you're probably looking at a, a, just after 5 o'clock. You've probably been here for like, I don't know. Uh, he, actually, he's finished a shower. Let's say it's somewhere between 5.30 and 6. All right. Oh, so, yeah, I, I did something I, I would go first, so... I'll get that dex. You said, so just click on dex? Yep, just click on dex. Nice. Um, okay, uh, you get down to the, you get down to the last couple of stairs, and you realize that there's ice on these stairs. It's so cold down here. Watch your footing. There's ice. This doesn't make sense. She's going to grip the railing a little harder as she uh, takes the last few steps onto the floor. Cool. Uh, the main storage area in the basement runs the entire width of the clubhouse. Uh, north to south. The building stone foundations from the northwest and south walls on the east side of the storage area, a series of rooms have been constructed out of wood, accessible through simple wooden doors. The area is filled with a huge collection of boxes, crates, and canvas bags, variously containing golfing supplies and goods for the golf shop above, kitchen utensils, pots and pans, glassware, and other items destined for the restaurant, uh, tablecloths, towels, and napkins, and just about anything else the golf club might require. At the moment, everything in the area is covered by thick frost. Uh, by the time the investigators hit the basement's hard pack earth floor, their breath is visible as clouds of frozen moisture. The basement is literally freezing. Uh, the light switch at the bottom of the stair uh, activates, and bare bulbs light the interior, as well as the wine cellar, um, electrics, telephone, and the external access area. Uh, so the lights are weirdly on down here. But I thought you said the electricity hadn't been installed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content that you just saw, consider joining one of our games at Start Playing dot gaming forward slash roll with us dms